So behind me, you can see a mock-up of the primary mirror of the James Webb. So a 6.5 meter mirror made of uh, 18 hexagons. You can see the various hexagons. So just to, to show you in full scale how big is the uh, James Webb uh, primary mirror. You can see a lot of things in this image, a lot of galaxies. And we were pretty sure that there are galaxies which are very far away, maybe a few uh, hundred of million years after uh, the Big Bang. So already with the 12 hour observation with James Webb, we do better than 100 hours of observation with uh, HST. James Webb is in uh, infrared and we can see things that we cannot see invisible. For example, where you are, you are looking at this uh, image, the Car Carina Nebulae, uh, with the infrared, we can go inside the, the cloud, inside the molecular cloud. And what I was really impressed by this image, when you zoom, you, you see details, extraordinary details that uh, they have never been seen even with uh, HST. And if we now compare with the previous infrared telescope, which is the Spitzer telescope, then the difference is even uh, more incredible because uh, it, uh, Spitzer was a small telescope of uh, 85 centimeter of diameter when Webb is 6.5 meter and with that you have a, an image quality incredibly better. I have been the French uh, copy eyes that's in the responsible for France of uh, the contribution to the MIRI instrument which is one of the four instruments of uh, James Webb and it is the instrument in the wavelength range starting from 5 microns to 28 microns. It's a mid-infrared instrument. As uh, 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 an instrument uh, builder we, we have some uh, guaranteed time observation and my uh, subject is exoplanet. Thanks to uh, James Webb we will be able to uh, characterize the molecular content of the atmosphere of exoplanet. It will not be the detection of exoplanet, it is, let's say, the second chapter in the study of exoplanet determining the atmosphere. For example, uh, if it is a uh, uh, rocky planet, is this atmosphere like Venus, full of CO2, or more close to that of the Earth? So that's what we'll be able to do with uh, James Webb and it will really be revolutionary.